All right, it's been so long since we got support for this character, which is Mizel, and his galaxy eyes with Tachyon in Duelist of Brilliance. So let's begin. So first off, we start off with Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Primal, which is basically the parallel version of Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. But anyway, it's a level 8 light dragon with 3000 attack, 2500 defense, and the first two effects are hard once per turn. The first one being, if you control a Dragon Exceed monster, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand from either field. The only reason why you would summon it to the other side of the field is to really attack into it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Especially for the second effect, where if this card is no more special summon, its owner adds one Tachyon spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So it's a level 8 that can special summon itself along with searching. Nice. And the third effect is that when a Dragon Exceed monster declares an attack, attach this card from the field to it as material. 3000 attack point monster that can let you search and give the material to one Dragon Exceed monster. And it's any Dragon Exceed monster, which is also pretty nice for all those other Dragon Exceed decks. Especially with the idea of Mizao being the Dragon Tamer. And considering that it still has Galaxy Eyes in the name, I can definitely see this played in the Galaxy Photon variant as well. Next, Tachyon Cloud Dragon. Obvious parallel to Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon, but anyway, it's a level 4 light dragon with 300 attack, 2500 defense. All effects are hard once per turn, the first one being if this card is added to your hand except by drawing it, you special summon it. It is searchable, but I just don't like the restriction of needing to add it to your hand just to special summon it. But that's already a play extension right there, especially for the next two effects where you can tribute this card, special summon one Tachyon monster from your deck or graveyard except itself. Not too bad, especially to get back some of your boss monsters, although Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon might be a little better since that one has a little more variety on your boss monsters. But anyway, third effect, if you special summon a Dragon Exceed monster, you can target one of them and attach this from the graveyard or hand. Funny thing is, the second effect can trigger the third effect where you just tribute to special summon the Tachyon monster, could even be your Tachyon Dragon boss monsters, and since this is in the graveyard by then, just use this effect. This is obviously gonna let you replay the Tachyon Transmigration, aka its own effect, so this is not too bad. But like I said, the regular Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon might be a little better since that one has more variety on summoning the boss monsters, including your Photon Galaxy Eyes. Next, Scorched Child Infinity Dragon, which is a level 8 Dark Dragon with 2000 attack, 0 defense. Its effect is hard once per turn, and if you do activate the effect, you're only restricted to summoning Dragon Exceed monsters for the rest of the turn if you're summoning from the extra deck. So, if you control no monster, or if your opponent controls a 2000 or more attack monster, nice that you got two options here, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, special summon one level 8 light or dark dragon monster from your deck in defense, except itself, but its effects are negated. Basically, this is meant for an instant rank 8 exceed play, and oh boy, there's a lot of level 8 light and dark dragons. The only catch is that you will have to give up all the other summonings except for exceed summoning, but this is still generic enough to splash in some good amount of decks, especially the photon variant itself. And now to the new Draculon, Eternal Gold Dragon Draculion. Too bad it's not a Chaos number 46, and it's also not a number. In fact, they might remove its title and just call it Draculion. But anyway, it's a rank 8 light dragon exceed monster with 2500 direct, 3000 defense. Funny, it's the reverse stat this time. Requires two level 8 monsters. So, its effect is that if this card is special summon the extra deck, you can add one Galaxy or Tachyon from your deck to your hand. It's nice that it says Galaxy as well, meaning that you can use this in the Photon variant, in which you can can detach two materials from this card to special summon one rank 8 dragon exceed monster with 3000 attack, exactly 3000 attack, from your extra deck by using this card as material along with one galaxy monster from your extra deck as another material. It's treated as exceed summon, of course all the materials get transferred to that summon monster, and this effect is hard once returned. Basically, you summon this card, effect activates to let you search, and then after that you use this effect to detach two materials since you're going to use two materials to summon this anyway, and then just basically do another exceed summon for a galaxy monster, or in this case any Dragon Exceed monster, it doesn't have to be Galaxy, as long as it has 3000 attack anyway. Now for the Photon variant, you might not have space to run this, but this is still pretty good because you get the one additional searching effect while still being able to put Exceed materials from your extra deck, which is also really nice because having those Exceed monsters as material can actually trigger some extra effects. Too bad it has to say 3000 attack, otherwise you can summon Prime Photon, but you do have a good number of targets to use with this card. So Overall, not too bad, and I might end up testing this out anyway. 
And now to the quick play spell, which is the attack name of Tachyon Dragon. Tachyon Spiral Destruction if you're going with the dub. It's a quick play, and you activate one of these listed effects. And you can play this more than once a turn, but you cannot play this same listed effect at the same turn. So, if you control a Galaxy Exceed monster, destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls whose effects are negated. This is meant to combo with the Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon's first effect, where it negates everything. Where the second section is, target one Tachyon card in your graveyard, except itself and add to your hand, which is not too bad. Third section, target one Dragon number monster from your graveyard and special summon in defense. Overall pretty good, searchable for the Tachyon deck, but also has some synergy with the Photon variant as well since it says Dragon number, which you do have good number Dragon numbers because your Galaxy Eyes are majority Dragon numbers, as long as you're not talking about Cypher. And also, recycling any Tachyon card is also really good. Finally, reference to the old booster set name, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, which is a normal trap, and you can only play one of these per turn. If you control Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, you can activate it from hand. During the battle phase, you can detach one Galaxy Eyes Exceed monster's material, but if you control a Chaos number, this effect cannot be negated. Shuffle all monsters your opponent controls that are no more special summon this turn into the deck. First off, it has Tachyon and Galaxy in the name, so you got two archetype searches right there. But it's also nice that you could just literally bounce back all your opponent's monster. And if you use Tachyon Dragon, it's usable from hand, so it's hard to counterplay it. Just overall, a pretty cool new trap card. And by the way, you got two Galaxy Eyes Chaos numbers that you can use with this as well, so if you don't want this negated, you got two options right there as well. That being Prime Photon and the Neo Tachyon. And finally, here's the new artwork of Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon that is in the cover card. Pretty cool. I was expecting that to be a new Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon though. Unfortunate. So, that's it for the new Tachyon Galaxy support. What do you guys think of it? It's been so long since we got support for Mizel, so I'm just glad to see this, especially when it comes to Tachyon Dragon, since we did get Photon Dragon, but not Tachyon. And I also wanted a full-on Tachyon archetype, so this just makes a more full-on Tachyon archetype more playable. But on that, that's it for this, and see y'all next time.